Good day, brethren. Our devotion for today is from Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. I will be reading from the English Standard Version. Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. And when he returned to Capernaum, after some days, it was reported that he was at home, and many were gathered together, so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them. And they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. Our devotion for today will be focused on the four men who carried a paralytic with them. Again, on verses 3 to 4, And they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. Upon the arrival of the five, an overflowing group of people was tightly packed in and around the house that made them unable to get to Jesus. And when the four friends made an unsuccessful effort to get in through the door, refusing to give up, they devised an aggressive and extreme plan in reaching Jesus. Verse 4 says, And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. When they removed the roof above Jesus, and when they had dug an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. Jewish houses were typically one story with a flat patch of roof accessible by an external staircase. The typical roof was constructed using large wooden beams with smaller pieces of wood in between, covered by a thatch consisting of grain, twigs, straw, and mud. Tiles would then be installed on top of that thatch. The four men carried their friend around the crowd and up to the stairs to the roof. After determining where Jesus was located in the room below, they began removing the roof tiles, mud, and thatch. In their effort to create an opening large enough to lower the bed, the strategy was effective. Though it must have been incredibly disruptive, Jesus was no doubt teaching in the large central room of the house with people pressed around him. The four men carefully let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. According to Luke chapter 5, verse 19, the four men had calculated well because their friend came down directly in front of Jesus Christ. The reason why I am saying this is because it is our duty, our mission as a Christians, to usher our our non-believing friends or someone we know to Jesus Christ. That is why, like the four men, we must exert an effort, all efforts, in bringing our friends or someone we know to Jesus Christ. And if we are saying that all of our friends and all the people around us are already saved, still, we must exert an effort in bringing our friends closer to Jesus Christ. Who knows? Maybe some of us are still spiritually weak, especially those who are newly saved or baptized. And maybe some of us are getting weaker in our spiritual life. When that happens, who do you think will help us? Just as the Bible says, encourage one another. Therefore, in strengthening one another is not a job only for pastors. It is a job for all. Through this quarantine, it became harder for us to know who becomes weak spiritually. 
because we do not have an opportunity to have a fellowship and see each other like we used to do. That is why this devotion must encourage us to contact one another more often and have a fellowship time even through online. The challenge for all of us in this devotion is to bring our friends, non-believing friends and believing friends to Jesus Christ. Let us take time during this quarantine to reach out. Pray for one another. Encourage one another. Make that extra effort. Be intentional. God bless us all.